Thank you so much for checking out this free video. If you don't mind, please click like and subscribe. Talk about maybe the best Raw of the year. It was a good one. It was awesome. Baltimore. Oh, that's why? It helped. I don't know about that. They were pretty good. So uh, Ludwig Kaiser introduces Gunther, and he comes out, and he's got his suit on and his belt, and he looks like a million bucks. And, and out comes Randy Orton. And Randy reminds him, I, he said, am the reason you're the champion in the first place, because you won King of the Ring beating me, but you know what? My shoulders weren't down. And I will accept the referee's decision as final, but you know what? Everybody including Triple H, knows that my shoulders were not down. And so I'm cashing in my rematch right now. He's going to face him for the title at the Bash in Berlin show. And he vows to leave the World Heavyweight Champion. So Gunther accepts the challenge. They go face-to-face. -face, and Gunther tells him, nothing ever catches me out of nowhere. And Randy says, that's fine. I don't want to catch you out of nowhere. I want you to see it coming. They leave. There's no brawl. Two professionals going to have a professional wrestling match for the World Heavyweight Championship. I thought this was awesome. You're not going to complain about the brand split or anything? Nope, don't care. Good. Because they never pushed it. It's like, these people are on this show, these people are on that show. But they never say they can't go to the other show. They never say that when they face each other, it's once in a lifetime. So, great. That's the way it should be. And it's going to be a show where they're going to be in Berlin anyway, so you're going to have everybody all mixed and matched in you know, all likelihood. And I, I do like the fact that they have announced this, gotten this out of the way. Let's go with it. We had Sheamus versus Ludwig Kaiser. This freaking match was awesome. What the heck's going on with Sheamus? Like, this guy. I mean, he was always, like, good and everything like that. But, like, the older he gets, the better the matches are that he has. And it's mostly because he'll just beat the crap out of the other guy and get the crap beat out of him. And him and Kaiser just pounded on each other. And the finish was great because they're doing this striking battle. They're just pounding on each other. And Sheamus ends up hitting a clothesline off the post of the floor. And he throws uh, Kaiser into the ring. And all of a sudden, out comes Pete Dunne with the shillelagh. And he tries to hit Sheamus, but he misses. And Sheamus sends him into the announce table. And then Sheamus flies into the ring, and everybody knows what's going to happen. Distraction finish. Kaiser pins him. Nope. Sheamus avoids it, kills his dude with a brogue knee, kills him with a brogue kick, pins him in the middle of the ring. It was awesome. So now we get Sheamus and Pete Dunne coming up, which also should be great. You know what my big thought was coming out of that? Boy, this intercontinental title picture could be really awesome because I like Kaiser. Sheamus fits in that mix. Obviously, you got Braun there. You know, Ilya Dragunov is lurking around as well, too. Pete Dunne. You could have a lot of guys, you know, fighting over that title and making it something valuable. It's been with Gunther and Sammy. They did a great job with that. But those old days of people really mixing it up for it, I'm all about that. So then we had Damian Priest coming out, and this guy is so over as a babyface, and he's a great babyface. And he cuts his promo about how I watched my own documentary. I didn't realize what people thought about me. And you know what? You guys are my new family. And I, you know, I'm not happy I lost the title, but I can win it back. But you know what I'm unhappy about is I've disappointed my family. And my family was robbed of that title. Therefore, Finn. Get out here for a beating. And Finn appears on the big screen, and he says, You know what? I ain't, I ain't coming out there tonight. But I got somebody who's going to take you out tonight, and it's JD. And I'm just going to wait until you're safe and comfortable, and then I'm going to jump you in from behind and stab you in the back over and over again. And up walks Carlito, JD, Liv, and Dom. They're all laughing. The new Judgment Day. Priest is furious. And he storms to the back. This was an aesthetically great deal with Priest the entire time, rallying up the fans who responded to everything. And then the promo with everybody coming in at the end just to rub it in Priest's face, I thought was awesome. And we had Pierce on the phone, and Bronson walks up. And he goes, how come I beat Sheamus last week, and Sheamus gets a match tonight, and I got nothing? And Priest says, well, you know, the match was already signed. And so... Bronson says, well, it's clear. If I want to get to the top, 
I gotta create my own path. And he walks out. Shayna and Lyra. This was like the only bad thing on the show. Actually, no, I, there was actually another match that nobody cared about. But uh, no real heat. And then a DQ finish. And then damage control made the save. Yeah, this was pointless. Then we had Ivy Nile meeting with the Creeds. And old Maxine walks up. She says, and I quote, I haven't seen you for weeks. And the Creed brothers have been viciously attacking Tozawa and Otis. Howled with laughter. She gets dragged away by Gable. So they're playing up that Ivy Nile doesn't want anything to do with these heels. Just you wait. CM Punk came out. He's all happy. Why is he happy? Well, he claimed that I was supposed to be out for nine months, and I made it back in five. Oh, boy. Here we go. Anyway. Split so he wants to fight Drew. It's not splitting hairs. He said every time, tell me when I'm telling lies. So if you, if you ask for people to tell you when you're telling lies, he's telling a lie here. And he told another lie later. You know, you said the same thing, and you respond kind of in this, never mind, go ahead. Hey, tell me when I'm telling lies. He told a lie. Oh, what's going on here? God's hitting you with lightning. Nah, it's something else. Oh. Okay, so uh, then he calls out Seth. Or actually, no, he calls out Drew, but Seth comes out instead. And Seth, no stupid outfit, no dancing. He wants to fight. And he's about to get in the ring, and all of a sudden, Drew shows up in the crowd, and Drew starts trolling both of these nerds. And they want to fight each other, but Drew's, like, going on and on. And then finally, Drew, he holds up the bracelet. And now Punk can take no more, and he bolts out of the ring. He chases Drew through the crowd. And then we had the greatest Raw moment, maybe in years. This would have only been better if Seth had been wearing a stupid outfit. <laughs> Seth is alone in the ring because Punk has gone after Drew. All of a sudden, he is blindsided by Bronson. Bronson runs this dude over. Seth tries to fight back. Bronson kills him. He hits two uh, sentons, and then he lays him out, and he goes up, and he crushes him with the tsunami. And then he gets up, and he starts climbing again. And he gets to the top, and he hits a second tsunami. So now all these nerds come down to try to save Seth. He's been tsunami twice. And they pull old Bronson out of the ring, and they're, they're bringing him up the ramp. And all of a sudden, Bronson makes a break for it. And he runs down to the ring, and he starts climbing. And all the dudes are, are looking up like, oh, no, because they're, like, tending to Seth. Bronson doesn't care. He jumps, and they all go running, and he crushes Seth a third time. He tsunamied him. He tsunamied him a third time. Now the crowd's like, this is awesome. They're chanting, this is awesome. So he jumps up. He starts climbing again. He hits a fourth one. Now the place is going crazy. He goes up a fifth time. He hits a fifth tsunami. So by the fifth tsunami, like the crowd's just, they're chanting one more time. So he goes up a sixth time. He gives him a sixth tsunami. And Seth is spitting up blood. He's gagging. He's vomiting blood all over the place. And Bronson, he tries one more time. But this time everybody grabs Seth and they pull his carcass out of the ring to save his life. This was so great. great this was so wrestling. great that, like, I think everyone's kind of liked Bronson Reed and everything like that. And, you know, he'll have good Haas matches and everything. But man, this was like a ma this guy was a main eventer. They turned him into a main eventer in one night, crushing this geek six times. And Seth is like he's at the top. He's the top guy. And Bronson just ruined this dude. And I think Seth will probably be out for a little while. Played it up big like it was a big time injury angle. He should be out for a while. They God, should he should be out up. for the rest of the year. And Bronson was just the greatest here. This was awesome. So then they go to break, they come back, and Pierce is trying to get an update, and Punk walks up and he's screaming, and, and he wants to know where, where uh, Drew is, and, and Pierce says, I, I personally walked him out of the building, he's gone, he's not here tonight. And Punk says, I just want to talk to him. It's like, that's another one. You are telling a lie. You do not just want to talk to Drew McIntyre. You want to murder him. So it's best that you guys are kept apart. AOP versus The New Day. It's another one here. I'm like, who could possibly care? They've been trying to build this feud for like three months, four months. 
Nobody cares about this feud at all. Now we're watching AOP in the New Day, like, oh my god. And so it ends up with uh, the heels, they just keep interfering, interfering. Carrying Cross pushes uh, um, Woods off the top. All of a sudden, who should show up but Odyssey Jones? And Odyssey Jones shows up, and man, he destroyed these heels. And AOP are big freaking dudes, and he ruined these guys. It was incredible. And double side supply, I mean, everything. He looked like That's a million bucks. AOP is huge, and for those people who haven't seen Odyssey Jones, and you have not in a long time since he's been on the main roster for months and they haven't used him, he picks up one dude, Azar, I guess, or whatever, and uh, whatever. Both of them, under each arm, picks one up, then the other one up, then delivers the sidewalk slams. It was visually an incredible, incredible moment. So he looks awesome. And then they go backstage later, and Woods is like, I didn't even know you guys were friends. And Kofi's like, yeah, we were at the Performance Center together. I met him. I told him you were having problems with this final testimony or whatever, testament. And, and, and he came up to help. And you can see Woods is like, I don't need this dude's help. And what have you got another friend for? But he smiles. I'm like, wow, this is a good storyline. He's about to snap. JD cut the best promo of his whole career. I mean, he talked about Priest, and he's had he's had like eight months of anger at Priest built up, and now he just cuts, he just slices and dices this guy. You didn't want me in your cool club. I was the only guy Finn would listen to. He listens to me before you. Now I'm going to get my revenge because I'm in this group and you're out, and I'm a champion and you've got nothing. It was awesome. A Town Down, an awesome truth. Eh, whatever, who cares? Got too much to talk about. Braun Breaker cuts a promo. It's going to be him and Sami Zayn in a uh, two out of three falls match next week, which I think very well could be two straight falls for Braun Breaker. Then uh, Damian Priest and JD, they had a bad finish when Finn ran in for the DQ, but this post-match was great. Priest tries to beat these guys up, but it's four on one. They're pounding him down. The new Judgment Day, they're killing him. And uh, he finally goes for the edge, but Liv makes the save. And so Priest and Liv are going face-to-face, and Dom chop blocks Priest, and they're beating on him, and all of a sudden Rhea Ripley's music hits. Place goes crazy. And she grabs Liv, and she's destroying her. She goes to powerbomb her through the table, but uh, Dom makes a save, and they go running. And then in the ring, Priest is like, he's still getting beaten down, so Rhea gets in the ring, and JD goes face-to-face with her, and she ends up, Boom! Hitting him with a headbutt. He stumbles backwards. Priest hits him with this gigantic south of heaven. This building is shaking. And then Rhea and Priest do the big hug, and everybody's going crazy. This was awesome. They gotta do Rhea and Dom. I know they don't like the man-woman thing, but come on. Rhea against Dom, please. We had Eo Sky and Sonya Deville. Eo won that. The heels had beaten up Dakota backstage. I was told Dakota is not hurt. I was immediately thinking she'd torn her ACL again, but she did not. And then the main event was uh, Joe Gacy, Dexter, and the Vintner against Chad Gable and the Creeds. And uh, it was a fine match. I mean, there was no magic. There was no hocus pocus. The baby faces beat up uh, the Creeds. They pinned Gable. Everybody was happy. Like, it was a good little segment. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again. 